Hello everyone, this is Imran Imu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I am going to work with WP Mega Menu. I will just install and configure this plugin in my demo WordPress website. And this plugin is by Themium. Okay, just uh, see the natural menu of my WordPress website. It's just basic menu and whatever you see. I will just turn this normal menu into a mega menu okay just uh, here i'm in mean the dashboard of my wordpress website and from the plugins menu i'm going to hit this add new menu i'll just install this plugin and like other wordpress plugin it's the same process to install this plugin i'm going to hit this install now button now it's time to active this plugin the plugin has been activated and you can see a menu has been added on the left side okay so and uh, what should i do i'll just navigate to the menu section under this appearance section just i'm going to hit this menu link okay mega menu setting option panel has been added here and if you want this plugin to replace your default menu system thus you will have to enable and just check this box and to work with this plugin just hover over this menu first level menu and as you can see a small deep blue button called wp mega menu and just click over this and it shows a pop-up okay and what you can do just uh, click here to enable this menu Firstly, you will have to add a row. If you want to display in two columns, just click it. And in three columns, just click over here. And more columns and more style options, it depends on you. I'm just going to click over here and take just a three column row. Okay. And I'm going to just check it, the difference. Okay. What I will do, I will just take some menus over here. Some here. It's simple, just drag and drop. Simple process. Okay. Let's see any changes. Okay, it's cool. Now, let's see how can we bring these four items in a box layout okay I'll just leave it here and firstly enable it and take any stress setting and default stress stress row and you can stress row and add content also okay what i'll do this remove here and add three okay i'm just going to add four and let's put here okay let's see what happens good but if we change the stress okay here you can see the difference default stress it will be fitted and if you want a stress row and refresh it's here and if you want a stress and content just refresh it's spread over the full width okay so i think a stress row or a stress default would work better now if i want to add any image just below here or firstly i would like to add any an icon here what should i do go to the icon section and click here okay you can add dash icon as well as font awesome icon okay and also search for any font awesome icon 
just dash icon okay it's cool now i'd like to add a gallery here okay first of all stress default or diff row add row i'm going to drag this widget here to here and now what i'm going to do just add images i'm going to add these four images in gallery insert gallery here you can see just hit the don't forget to hit this save button okay under the gallery some images it's time to add any and video okay let's add and video here i'm going to click over here Firstly, enable it, add an icon, video icon, and take these three columns and video. Video video okay just i'm going to get the video link from here edit the widget add video insert from url just save it insert another video sort here Okay, let's see what happens. I'll just refresh it. Okay, nice video. Uh, let's see the setting sections. Just come to the bottom and hit this Mega Man option. You will find this short setting panel, and from here you can just disable Mega Man One Mobile or enable it. Okay, CSS output location you can change it and menu container tag can be changeable to nap tag or deep tag or just these things and responsive breakdown point okay just hit changes and hit the save changes button when you are happy with the setting options and let's see the themes and already you have a classic theme or you can create any new theme okay just put the theme title just my theme okay what do you want just enable a sticky menu you can do it and drop down indicator and enable search bar or disable search bar hit save changes and you will find general setting options menu bar okay brand logo and first level menu items text color background color all the setting options actually these things are pretty easy and i'm not going to do everything in this video because it will it will be a long process okay just drop down menu mega menu wizards it has all the necessary setting options so these things are easy and when you are happy just hit the save changes button that's all finally we can see the mega menu we have created and videos
okay thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel thank you